Hi, everyone. It's Henry DeVries. Welcome to this episode of Agency Rainmaker TV. This is where we discuss how do you make it rain? How do you find more right fit clients? And have a great guest today with us, Brian Gertzner of White Label. Uh, Brian, who do you serve? <laughs> it's good to be here, Henry. And um, we serve other marketing agencies. Um, when I say other, what I mean is uh, we were kind of born from an agency. One of those classical stories where we solved our own problem and it began to grow and grow and um, took on a life of its own. Kind of, so from there, the problems that we faced and what we try and help other agencies with is really providing specialized skill sets as you know, um, development and design, a lot of these areas and have become just much more specialized um, and also bandwidth because I know as running an agency, um, you have to answer the client's problems and those problems don't always land directly into what you do all the time. So having being able to be a strategic partner that can add the bandwidth, that can allow agencies to say yes, or just have that confidence that there's someone by their side that can help kind of fill gaps for them and um, someone who kind of understands and knows how it all works. So what do you do for them? And I guess what right? and how? How do you get that done? <laughs> so um, our primary focuses are in design, development, which is a pretty broad spectrum there. And then we do a lot of administrative paid media support where we help people kind of level out, you know, hirings. Um, so kind of in those areas, uh, we we do it by showing up. We do it by kind of bringing subject matter experts and just kind of really offering a lot of help at the beginning of projects and just trying to over-communicate, trying to get the clarity there, making sure everything is aligned. You know, um, might be doing design, might be doing development or paid media, but to some degree, you know, we're in the communications business also. Um, this is very much about how to set expectations, how to live up to those expectations, and then make sure as a partner we're there. Because I know like in, in you know, in marketing, it is about relationships. And, you know, to maintain those relationships and even to win new ones, you really have to show up and you really have to be able to like be clear about what you're trying to do for them. So we we really lean into that as much as possible because I know that was one of the pains that we had in working with vendors and just trying to create partnerships that would last. So how do you make it rain? How do you find clients for your business? Right. Um, so we there's a couple different strategies. Number one, you know, and I know a lot of other people that I partner with have the same kind of philosophy, but we just show up to help. I'm, I'm just here to help, to contribute, to do the scopes of work. Maybe, you know, I, I came through the ranks as a design, starting as a designer through the creative teams. And I don't like selling. I don't like the concept of selling, but I know that I can show up. I can help. I can talk about what we do. And it's that classic thing where you just start to line up and then people that are good fits and need what you offer just start to kind of be part of that group that you just jive and work really well with. You know, we, we also follow not just the helping, but the the aspect of uh, authority marketing strategy where we just try to add value and talk about it and talk about it and talk about it and show up and just kind of really keep talking about <laughs> our core area and what we do well and just kind of building that authority through outreach and being at events and, you know, contributing content and white papers and collaborating. So it is very much trying to talk about what we do and how we do it, because I want people to understand how we think. I know you speak at different events. I know you sponsor different events. Uh, that's all part of that showing up that you're talking so, about. Right? Yeah. Um, you know, shall, shall it be sponsorships or in, uh, or, um, you know, influencer marketing. Um, it means a lot to be in a group <clears throat> where there is credibility, where you can quickly establish that credibility. But um, people shouldn't take it lightly because um, it takes a lot to be accepted into a group, to be in a place where that influencer or that sponsor knows that you're a good fit. Um, so that, you know, those influencer and sponsorships are incredibly important to be able to kind of have a seat at the table, but it still has to be earned. 
It has to be earned. Uh, Brian, thank you so much. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add before we conclude the episode? Um, just that, um, you know, to work in the marketing and agency space, it takes a lot of moxie. And I just really love being around these people. It's really kind of what got me in, what got me interested. It's just kind of, I don't know, there's there's a certain type of person that this industry attracts. And uh, I I feel very comfortable there. Thank you. Well, that's the second time I've heard the word moxie this week. So maybe it's <laughs> making a comeback. It sounds something like, uh, there's a, you know, 40 yeah. pictures. That kid's got moxie. Well, I, I, I used to live up on the East Coast. So okay. Okay. <laughs> Drinking what was it, Yoohoo soda and all that. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brian, thanks so much for being with us and invite our guests to come back for another episode. But until then, make it rain.